Welcome to Marine Gurukul video series. In this video, we shall learn to obtain and plot on the chart position circle by horizontal angles. Horizontal angle is the smaller angle, not the reflex angle, subtended by the two objects at the observer. This means the value of the horizontal angle to us can never be more than 180 degrees. The horizontal angle subtended by a pair of objects at the observer shall depend upon the distance between the two objects and the distance or the range of the observer from the baseline that is the segment joining the two objects. The horizontal angle on the ship is obtained by either sextant, in that case it is referred to as horizontal sextant angle or by difference between the bearings of the two objects. If horizontal sextant angle is available, it must be corrected for index error to convert to horizontal angle. Horizontal angle will be equal to horizontal sextant angle plus minus index error. Of the arc, index error would be plus and on the arc, index error would be minus. Horizontal angle by bearings is obtained by taking the difference between the bearings of the two objects. Both bearings need to be necessarily of the same type, so please be careful. That is, both may be gyro bearings, or both may be compass bearings, or both may be even relative bearings taken with respect to ship's head, or both may be two bearings. However, if both happen to be two bearings, then we can use them as PL and there will be no need to deploy this concept of position circle then. If the difference in the bearings is greater than 180 degrees, horizontal angle will be 360 minus difference. That means our horizontal angle in no case can be more than 180 degrees. The biggest advantage of this method is that this can be deployed when we have the bearings by gyro, compass or ship's head and we do not know the gyro or the compass error. Now we run through the procedure to draw the position circle by horizontal angles. First thing would be to obtain the horizontal angle for the pair of objects. Two, would be to get the complement of the horizontal angle that is 90 minus horizontal angle. Next would be to draw the baseline on the chart that is the segment joining the two objects whose horizontal angle is in question. Establish to which side of the baseline does the ship's position exist. Now it's very very important for this method that once you draw the baseline you take a pause, decide which side of the baseline does the ship exist? Now, in some cases, it may be quite straight and simple that on one, if you have land mass or non-navigable waters on one side, then that side can be ruled out. However, there can be situations in which you may have navigable water on both sides of the baseline. The gyro or the compass bearings of the west uh, of the objects can then be used to figure out which side of the baseline does the ship lie. Again, to reiterate that it's one of the most important parts of this process to establish which side of the baseline does the vessel exist. Draw the angle of 90 minus horizontal, 90 minus horizontal angle at both ends of the baseline. Now, which side of the baseline it has to be drawn? We'll see that because you can draw these on either side of the baseline. If the horizontal angle is less than 90 degrees, then this angle of 90 minus horizontal angle is to be drawn on the side of the baseline to which the ship's position exists. That means towards the position of the vessel. If horizontal angle is greater than 90 degrees, then this 90 minus horizontal angle value is to be drawn on the side of the baseline that is opposite to which 
the ship's position exist. So this particular method has these few important things which you'll have to keep in mind. The point where the arms of these angles intersect is the center of the position circle. From the center of the position circle so obtained, the end of the baseline, either end of the baseline shall form the radius of the position circle. We shall see how to implement this procedure through a simple example. Following bearings were observed from a vessel at anchor. Old head of Kinsale 242 degrees gyro, Roche's point 290 degrees gyro, Belly Cotton Island 037 degrees gyro. Find the anchor position and the error of the gyro. Obviously, in this case, since the gyro error is not given to us, we cannot use the concept of cross bearings. So we could probably look at deploying the process of position circle by horizontal angles. Let's first identify these landmarks. Now this is old head of Kinsale. This is Roche's point and this is Belly Cotton Island. Then we make pairs. Now if you have three objects, you can make three pairs, one pair between these two objects another pair between these two objects and the third pair between these two objects. However, to keep the plotting simple and uh, avoid crisscrossing of the plot, it is advised that you pair the middle object with each of the other two objects. What we mean is, in this case, Roche's point is the middle object. You can see on the chart lying between the two. So we can form two pairs one between old head of Kinsale and Roche's point and another, another between Roche's point and Belly Cotton Island. Now, for the first pair between old head of Kinsale and Roche's point, the horizontal angle is 48 degrees because the difference between their bearings is 48 degrees. 90 minus 48 gives you 42 degrees. For the second pair that is between Roche's and Belly Cotton Island, the horizontal angle is 107 degrees more than 90 degrees and 90 minus horizontal angle gives us minus 17 degrees. Now we deploy the process that we have learned to draw the position circles. So first for Roche's point and old head of Kinsale, we draw the baseline. Now then we establish on which side of the baseline does the vessel lie. In this case, this side is landmass. Obviously, the ship would be on the sea side, so the vessel lies on this side of the baseline. Now, with respect to baseline, both at old head of Kinsail and at Roche's point, we have to draw this 90 minus horizontal angle, that is 42 degrees. So we will draw these angles at both the ends of the segment or the baseline. Where these two intersect at C1, this forms the center of the position circle. So with this C1 as the center and C1 to old head of Kinsale or C1 to Roche's point, either one of them, they will be same as radius. We draw the position circle and we draw it only on the side of the segment or the baseline on which the ship lies. This is how we draw it only on this side and we don't have to draw this full circle because the vessel cannot be on this arc in any case. Now let's draw the position circle between Roche's and Valley Cotton pair. So we draw the baseline for Roche's and Valley Cotton Island. Now please see in this case also the ship is on the sea side. It cannot be on the land side. But here the horizontal angle is more than 90 degrees. In the previous case, horizontal angle was less than 90. So these complement angles were drawn on the side on which the ship lies. In this case, the horizontal angle is 107 or the 90 minus horizontal angle came minus 17. So this 17 degrees will be drawn on the side opposite to which the ship exists. In this case, the ship exists on this side of the red baseline. So 17 degrees would be drawn on the opposite side like this. We 
get C2 as the center of the position circle. With C2 as the center and its distance either to Roche's point or Bellicotton Island acting as radius, we draw the position circle only on the side on which the ship exists. The ship lies on this side of the baseline, so the position circle is drawn only on this side, that is the C side. So the blue is one position circle, the red one is the second position circle. Both are of simultaneous observations. Wherever they intersect, obviously that is the anchor position of the vessel. Now to get the gyro error, we read off the true bearing of any one of these ob uh, objects or points from the chart. It is advised that we read off the bearing of the farthest object so that the error does not get amplified. So in this case, please read off the true bearing of old head of Kinsale from the anchor position and you can do it on the chart by putting your parallel ruler, transferring it to compass rows and reading of the true bearing of the old head of Kinsale. Now comparing the true bearing of the old head of Kinsale read off from the chart with old head of Kinsale bearing of 242 degrees gyro provided in the question that can give us the gyro error as required by the question. So in this case, we have dealt with two situations, one in which the horizontal angle was less than 90 degrees, that is the blue position circle, and the other was where the horizontal angle was more than 90 degrees, the red position circle. Now there can be some special cases wherein horizontal angle happens to be exactly 90 degrees, neither more than 90 nor less than 90. In this case, the baseline joining the two objects forms the diameter of the circle. So if it is the diameter, the center of the segment becomes the center of the circle. So measure the baseline with scale to find its midpoint. The midpoint acts as the center and from midpoint to either of its end will become the radius and you can draw the circle on the chart. Now this is based on the principle that the diameter of a circle subtends an angle of 90 degrees at any point on the circumference of the circle. And we could have situation wherein horizontal angle is equal to 0 degrees. That means the bearing of both the objects is same. This becomes case of transit bearings. Thus, if horizontal angle is zero, it shall provide us a PL by transit bearing and not a position circle. Also, if the horizontal angle is 180 degrees, means the bearings are separated by 180 degrees and the objects are on reciprocal bearings. This becomes a case of opposite or reciprocal bearings. In this case, we get a PL which is the segment joining the two objects like opposite pairings and not a position circle. So we have dealt with all the possible cases, chances or cases of horizontal angle. Horizontal angle less is equal to zero. Horizontal angle less than 90. Horizontal angle equal to 90. Horizontal angle greater than 90. And horizontal angle equal to 180. And we have already said that horizontal angle in no case can be more than 180. So that covers all possibilities as far as position circle by horizontal angles is concerned. I hope uh, this has been of some value to you. Please feel free to send your feedback on marinegurukul at gmail.com. If you need any further support from us, please do feel free to reach us on marinegurukul at gmail.com. Thank you for watching this video and have a nice time. Bye-bye.